All right, so the deal is none of this is prepared and it's going to be super duper disorganized, but uh, let us just go through the Scout Micro stuff. So basically, we got the build stuff out of the way, thank goodness, and 11 o'clock at night tonight. I wanted to do this on Friday or Saturday, but I was feeling just sick yesterday, and I didn't play it all today. So I'm going to skip all the stuff. Basically, I opened up scouts. This guy, 1727, I was at 1642 on ladder at the time. Um... And we already have the Justice of Hunt Wars. We both opened up scouts. I just might as well look at the map right now. I've got kind of a back gold. want the wood on the hill so I can just guard this hill and everything over here. I don't know where I put my second lumber camp. I'm guessing I would throw it up here too. But maybe I put it here. I don't like it here. That's just really bad wood line and right in the middle of the map. Hard to defend. And then on his map, his gold is like not the best. And it's by his wood. So he wants to keep this hill. Um... At least it's pretty close to his CC. But yeah, we're both up. I'm going to pause the wreck at 10.30. And I think I lost my scout. Yeah, so that's why I'm in my berries. But I'm going to pause it at 10.30 just because uh, might as well take a look at what the eco is. I think I've watched this before. 10.30. Okay, so that's 24, 25.05 for me, and then like, let's just call it 7, 24 and change for him. So like already I'm a little ahead. Not that big of a deal. I'm trying to see why. He only has one lumber. Oh no, here's his, that's why. <laughs> Second lumber is over there. I hate that spot. I don't get why you wouldn't put it behind here or somewhere else. Or even like. I wouldn't even put it here. I would put it over here. I think that's what Septos would do in his Rex. He's a 2K player. And uh, just deal with it. Yep, so I put my second lumber camp over there. And I forgot to see if I went up on 21 pop. It kind of looks like I did because I had one lumber camp, but I don't know. Anyway, let's fast forward it. Blah, blah, blah. Well, let's, eco's boring. Everyone's... Okay, so the trick I was having problems with, and like, you're never going to have a perfect eco and perfect dark and feudal and whatever, right? Even the 2k players don't. They slip up now and then. Like, you just kind of want to uh, think about like where they're going to hit first at your base and like what you need to protect with spears. So first things first, you want to get out your four scouts harass. Um... And then you want to just try to defend with spears because he's going to do the same thing with his four scouts. So it looks like I'm sending my first spear here. You can kind of think about it this way too. Like you have most of your bills on wood. And so sometimes your berries are the most vulnerable and they're forward. But this is so close to the CC. I wanted to send it here first and it's on a hill. And then uh, I'm guessing I probably should send the second spear down here but it looks like I'm gonna send it up here too but I mean that's it that's the whole entire trick he does forward spear anytime you get a hit like that with the spear it's really good it's cost effective so like that's something you can mess around with too it's risky though so you can run into wolves and stuff and it's usually easier to defend you can like look at your map do whatever fight with bills try not to get hit with scouts versus spear um, not the end of the world if you do and then like you can drop farms and do all that stuff where it's harder for him to do all that stuff but you can see around like 13.45, I'm at 35 pop. It's pretty standard. Hitting the spear. That spear got his scouts. You start to feel it though, the better you get. Um, bad micro by me, but luckily I didn't get hit. Like you can kind of do that split micro around the spear too. Like hit head straight for him, hit spread formation, and then line formation again if you want. I've got it on F and Q on the hotkeys. But uh, what was I going on about? Oh, you start to feel it later, like if your scouts take too many hits from either a vill you're trying to harass, or another a TC, another scout, or a spear, and it just kind of sucks later on, right? So as you get better, like you'll start noticing that stuff. 
And then harassing builds is alright, but you tr want to try to not take too much damage with like your starting scout because like unless you kill the vill or have a good chance to kill it, it's just like not worth the damage done usually, unless you can delay something. Uh, just something to keep in mind. You can use your own judgment, and whatever. But yeah, th this is the problem I was having trouble with before. Is I would just defend with my scouts right here. But, just want to defend with this spear here, these two here. He can make some more depending on how many scouts he has. I kind of want to see his gold right now and then harass his vills. Because even if I'm not doing damage and killing stuff, I'm going to idle his eco and like get a read on what he's doing. Mo more importantly though, it's to get eco damage to him instead of me just taking eco damage. Because I'm not going to wall. His map's pretty open too. So it's not really an excuse not to do this. Um, okay, I took a hit there. You don't want to do stuff like that. You start feeling it later on too when you play better people. Like the 1700s on Boobly, like they just have better scout control versus like the 1500s will start suiciding scouts here and there like I do all the time. Like the scout right here and you can see I'm having to idle here where if you wanted to you could just like wall off straight here and maybe here or something maybe even up here and then only worry about this hill and put a tower there do whatever um oh here's the other thing keep all your spears together i was having this problem and then like spring subdos and uh hera said just you you've got to keep all your spears together which makes sense. The scouts will mow down the spears like separately, but if you got three together, man, they just like demolish scouts. Bam. Bam, get the scout. Oh, that makes me happy. And then this is the other thing. Like, you want to defend there while attacking here. So, like, I was just roaming around his base looking for what to hit with scouts, and I hit his gold, and then, like, this is kind of the game, I feel like. And so this is what I wouldn't have done before. I would have ch used these scouts to chase his scouts before. But, uh, yeah, this is fun. So that was something that Spring told me. Like, just keep your scouts active in his base. Try not to defend with them in your own base. Just use spears to defend. And, uh, hopefully kill some stuff. I think there was two bills of him, of his, that were, like, one hit away from death, too. If I was more attention and I was a little faster, I could click his bills and try to find him later. But, uh... The, the resource, like, your lowest on two is gold, right? And so if you can defend, if you can, like, disrupt that, that's, like, the best resource to disrupt. Because all of a sudden he doesn't have enough, he doesn't have as many archers, and he doesn't have the gold to click up the castle. Uh, let's see, my buildings are kind of all over the place. Uh, I'm just defending down here. I threw away too many scouts. I'm confident even lower level people than me will have an easier time with doing damage. That's the trick though, you'll see Viper, he looks like super fast or slam and they'll be bouncing back and forth between like defending at their base and attacking in their base. Like that's how they get away with not walling. Like that's one reason is they're just really good at defending and then jumping back to multitask. And you kinda, it feels so good when you get into the rhythm of it and like get how the game goes. And see like right here, I know the scouts aren't at home. Um, I'm still trying to like see what other damage I can do, but I can't really do any more damage. And I should have known, like, I need my spears up here. And that's something else, like, uh, a lot of people told me, especially Subdos, like, you more need to predict where they're gonna hit. It's not even reaction time. Like, these shouldn't have been down here. There's nothing down here. Like, everything's up here. So, if he came with scouts and archers, I would need everything on this hill with the spears and archers. So, yeah. So, there go all the archers. <laughs> um, whatever. The, the, my saving grace is like I already hit his gold, and I'm four bills ahead. So that's the deal there. I guess that's just not really a trick to it. It's just figuring out how safe is my map, how many spears do I have, what's he doing? Okay, he's doing this, so I need this many spears or whatever. And that was the thing I was missing before, is like predicting his movement with the scouts, and then just attacking all with spears, not trickling them in. And something Viper said too is like if the spears were here and they're hitting here, I would want to like try to patrol the spears over versus right clicking works better. And you can see if he hits down here, like you don't even have to worry. You've got all your stuff up here. Just do this garrison in here and then pull it back this way. Deal with it, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. 
And like usually I'd pull off farms around uh, before I hit castle anyway, so. It's like not that big of a deal if he's idling farms. Um, you can try to go hit him too. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, let's see what else. So he's still in feudal. So I just have to not take too much damage. And you can see too if you walled this section, how it would just it would just totally shut this down. Um, I had town watch, able to see stuff creeping up, so didn't lose a vill. And yeah, it looks like I'm doing that, I'm pulling this stuff down here. That's the trick, is just like, I like this part of the game, because like, as long as you know what to do in the flow of the game, you can kind of get used to doing it over and over, and then at least just then just start mass playing games and get used to it. But like, your eco has to be pretty good first, and like, mine's not perfect, but like, uh, the more you can get used to doing all this and having your eco be perfect, I, I think that's the only trick to get higher rated for standard game. Uh, and yeah, you can see too, I, I keep saying it, but if you just wall this section, uh, super lock down your base, then you don't even have to idle this stuff. <laughs> and then it, it gives you a little more leeway to not get your eco idled right here. And I was thinking, hopefully, yeah, if I was better, these would have been more at his base earlier. Like, right when they turn into expo, like right now. Looks like I'm maybe... 75 seconds later or something like little stuff like that the 2k's don't do they'll be in their base going for university ballistics that's that's the next step everybody hits like a fork in the road here where they either want a tc a manganel if they have a lot of archers or university ballistics to do damage and his map is so open i'm just gonna go for ballistics uh take out that wooden line um it's kind of over right now, though. You can see it's 42 bills to 34, and if we're equal strength, then yeah, any everything's safe up here. Uh, that's the first thing, though. If you can think about like keeping your base safe first, like I can lose this; it's already paid for itself. Uh, keep your base safe first, harass him or whatever. If he's if his base was really good and walled off, like I wouldn't be able to harass. The scouts are good for scouting info and like at least to see where his units are, try to catch his archer expo. Um, then it just kind of sucks, right? If you have an open base, then you got to be on top of your stuff. And, uh, you wouldn't be able to make army to harass. You would just, in raid, you would just be able to make army to, like, defend your base against his army. Which is kind of like what all the people who don't wall do versus the people who do wall. Because eventually you can't, their base is locked down and defended. And then you just have to use your army to hit their army. But they can hit your eco. So, and they don't have to engage your army, so it makes it tough. But, uh, yeah, that was this game. This one's pretty much over. Let's fast forward it. This is where it starts going downhill for me, too, because I focus so much on feudal. It's hard to get your eco efficient here. I'm going to put a TC up here, I guess, for wood. That's the other thing, good thing. Like, if you have a bad map, like, you get ahead at that point in the game, then all of a sudden it's safe to throw a TC there, and you've got wood. That's how you can deal with it. Um, where he's behind, so he can't throw a TC here. Hit those fills. Yay, hit them. And then I'm going to let Eco go to hack for this one and just do Cav Archer. And, uh, like, that's what I'm thinking in my head. And just to try to just hit him all over because his base is so open. And complain about the map. More ranges, more units. I just have 3 TC up, so it's like not hor horrific. It's glad I'm not floating too much, but my ego still, like, if I look back at my ego right now, I just know it's really inefficient. Um, I could use a lumber camp there, maybe, and that looks like it's too many on gold. It's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought. Okay, good, I took this gold. Uh, these units should be up here, maybe. Looks like I'm worried about that, but I don't have anything to be worried about because I just killed all this stuff, if I was thinking. And yeah, you can see I'm going for this two-pronged attack, like, up here and then over here, and I just... Like, I just know from experience, from people doing it to me, it's just, like, impossible to defend. And I'm, I'm already ahead, too. Like, it's 80 bills to 35 or something. 
that was it for that one. So that's pretty easy. And I wanted to show a game. This one's already like 15 minutes in. You know, I'm going to end this video here. And that's the trick for scouts. Like, hopefully you already know the build stuff. Scouts, just always keep active. Hit stuff. Try not to get hit by spears. It's good if you can even just, like, idle vills here and there. But, like, ideally, that's the trick, right? If you can just defend at home with spear and then have the multitask to, like, hit them with scouts, then it's just, like, it's an easy way to get ahead. <laughs> um, especially if you wall. And... Uh, if you can do more damage, make more scouts. If you don't, make less scouts. Pretty straightforward. And just try to think about like how safe your base is. And then that helps you plan out like what, how the game progresses and stuff like that. And conversely, if their base is open, yeah, just make more stuff to kill them or whatever. Do more damage. And uh, yeah, it's hard. It's just like multitask, but you just have to get used to like the flow of the game because feudal is insane and there's like a lot of stuff happening in a very short window with the eco with like catching their stuff and making sure archers don't sneak in your stuff and yeah having to harass with scouts and it sucks like if you like lose like two or three scouts for free a lot of times the game's kind of like you're way behind at that point i was gonna say over but yeah it's just, you're behind <laughs> um and you have to defend and it's no fun but yep that was that video i'll do the next one for like more of a standard game i guess and to show uh, a good game where Seb does walls is 2k player. Uh, see you later.